Hey everybody, this is Eric. Wanted to share a um, bit of information on a video here regarding my um, new change when it comes to Focuser. When it comes to my Schmidt Cassegrain, and in this case I'm using an Edge HD 8 inch Schmidt Cassegrain, back focus, rather focus rather, is very critical, uh, especially when you're dealing with long focal lengths. So I decided to make a change from going from my usual electronic focuser that is connected to the stock focus knob to a rear cell micro focuser like this. This is the Prima Luce Lab Asado 2 inch LP or low profile. And what's so great about this particular focuser is, is that they really put the Edge 8 in mind when they design this because it has such a small back focus um, window compared to your nine and a quarters up to the uh, 14 inch. The Edge 8, if you're using a reducer, its back focus is only 105 millimeters. And if you're at F10, it's like 133, which doesn't give you a lot of space for adding on other pieces of equipment, such as your OAG, um, camera, filter wheel, and other things. So having this low profile version is going to be um, a lifesaver when it comes to that. And as I said, with focus being so critical when it comes to working with long focal lengths, having a focuser such as this that is managed by the rear cell that's on the rear cell versus the um, the uh, stock focuser or a, or a focuser that's tied to the stock focuser or connected to it, you can actually lock down your mirror, your primary mirror, um, and that will reduce mirror shift or mirror flop, which also can help a little bit with dealing with collimation as well. Now, when it comes to the Asado 2 LP, you get a few things. You get, of course, the focuser. You have a USB-C to USB-A cable and an Allen key for the grub screws that you're going to have to work on. And you'll also need a couple things. You'll need this guy. You'll need a telescope side adapter for the Asado, which will go either on the rear cell or on, you can put this on the reducer. And you'll also need a camera adapter, which is sold separately. I just ordered mine because the front here, this is M60 and you'll need a an adapter for my case go down to m48 you can get them between i believe m56 m48 and m42 so i rock i honestly wish they would have um included the adapters with them because they aren't cheap they're about 125 bucks but you know it is what it is so but i am excited to get this going so what i'll do is i'm going to share with you um, how to mount this and also you are going to need on your computer be it your eagle um, laptop or in my case my melee 3 mini computer you're going to need to install the prima luce um, play software as well as the ASCOM drivers. So we're gonna go ahead and get this set up and I'll show you how to get it done. All right, so step one is to go ahead and put on the adapter on either the visual back or the reducer. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the reducer here with the knurled side um, towards the reducer, okay? and. You want to go ahead and also, if you have USB 3, you want to go ahead and plug your USB cable up to your Asado in, um, to the USB-C here. And the USB 3 will supply power to the Asado. Now, if you look here, you will see a few small um, notches here, 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 and there's one over here. Those are actually little grub screws that 
you're going to have to use the play software to rack the focuser outward in order to pull the, um, to retract or screw back the set screws in order to get it onto the adapter here. So we're gonna hop over to my computer here and I will show you the play software. Okay, so now we're in my melee. And as I mentioned, you wanna go ahead and you wanna to go to the Prima Luce website and you want to download the play software as well as the drivers. First thing you when you install the drivers and I've gone ahead and done that. I'm gonna bring that up here and go to my download section here. You have the play software set up and the Asado software package. And from there you will have your system drivers and your ASCOM focus drivers and everything there. And you will also install the play software. One thing you want to take note of is you want to take note of the COM port the Asado is going to be using. So you'll go to your device manager and under COM and LPT under ports, you want to look for the Silicon Lab CP210 USB to UART bridge. And mine is on COM8, yours may be on a different COM port, but you want to just remember what COM port you're going to be working with for that. And if necessary, you can update those drivers. You can do an update driver and point to those new drivers that you've downloaded and unzipped, and it'll let you know if you're using the latest drivers or not. In my case, I was using the latest drivers, so I did not have to update the, soft, the driver software. So once you, that is done, you'll go ahead and launch the play software. And from there, you will select your focuser. In this case, it's the Asado here. Or you can go over to focuser on the left side and select there. And it'll, and then you can choose if you have multiple devices, you would just simply look for that COM port that your Asado is under. And like I said, mine is on COM8. And you'll select the little locks or interlinked interlinks here to connect to the focuser. Once it's connected, you will, if necessary, you can do a calibration as well as you can do any type of firmware updates. As you can see here, I'm on my current firmware is slightly higher than what they call the latest firmware. So everything here is done. So I can go ahead and move on and let's close this out and hit the play button. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to rack the focuser completely out. So I'm gonna switch my tr the travel here from millimeter to step, and I'm gonna go ahead and max that out. And then once this is max, you have this maxed out, you can go ahead and press go and as you can see here it's the travel is starting to move and there you start to see the set screws that are shown and what you want to do is you want to use that allen key and just unscrew or pull those, retract these set screws back in order to mount onto your adapter. All right. So we'll take our Allen key here and we will go ahead and start to do that. Now go ahead and do that now. Everything connected. It's nice and, it's nice and tight on here and set screws are all the way in there. So this, this guy isn't going anywhere. So now we can go back to the play software and 
get the travel back to zero. Okay, so here we are back in the play software. We'll go ahead and set this all the way back down to zero and press go. And as you can see here, there you have it traveling back. And now once that's done, we can go ahead and we can install our M60 camera adapter to the applicable size we need, and then go ahead and set our back focus to whatever the manufacturer specs require. Now that that's all done, we can then go here and we can close out of uh, the play software and we'll go ahead and disconnect and go here to Nina and once Nina's launched we can go ahead and double check our settings for Nina. So we can go here to focuser and you'll locate the focuser P PLL for Prima Luce Lab, the ASCOM focuser, and we turn it on. And there it is, it is connected. Now, all I need to do is just wait for my adapter. All right. See you guys next time. Thanks.